Hello everyone, welcome to the combinational and sequential design practical series. In today's session, we'll study about the BCD adder, how to construct the BCD adder. But before starting with the BCD adder, we must know the various rules for BCD addition. The rule first says that if addition of two BCD numbers result in a sum which is less than or equal to 9, so and if, if no carry is generated, then uh, the given result is our final result. So for example, if we have numbers 3 and 2, we want to add these two numbers. So 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1 in BCD and 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0 in BCD. If we add the two numbers, so 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1, 0 and we get a carry 1 and 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1 and 0 plus 0 is 0. So we get this result as 0, 1, 0, 1 which is 5 and this is uh, a valid result and since no carry is generated and this result is less than 9, so this is the actual result. Now let us take the second rule. So if addition of two BCD numbers result in a sum which is less than 9, which is a valid BCD, uh, but a carry is generated, then to get the proper result, we need to add 6, that is 0, 1, 1, 0 to get the final result. So for example, if we have the two numbers 9 plus 9, so 9 in BCD is 1, 0, 0, 1, 9 again is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we add the results, add, add the two numbers, BCD numbers, so 0 plus 0 is 0, carry 1 and 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. So this is the result we are getting. Now this is not the proper result. So if we see this one of the digit BCD 4, four bits is 0, 0, 1, 0, which is 2 and this one is uh, 1. So the answer which we are getting is 1, 2 but this is no, not the correct. So this is an incorrect result. So the correct result is 1 8 because 9 plus 9 is 18, 1 8 and this we should get the, the, the thing we are getting below that is the BCD output that is 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 0 0. This is the expected result but we are getting incorrect result because a carry is generated so we need to add 6. So we add 6 to the result so what we get is 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, 0 carry 1 and we get this 1 triple 0 and this one is we get it below and we can add of course we can add two uh, we can add three zeros at the left so this is what we are getting this is one and this is eight which is the expected result so this is rule number two now rule number three if addition of two bcd numbers result in a sum which is more than nine of course that will give a invalid bcd so we need to add six to the result for example if we have seven plus five seven is zero triple one and 5 0 1 1 0 if we add this 0 carry 1 then we get 0 carry 1 1 carry 1 and we are getting this 1 1 0 0 now this 1 1 0 0 is actually uh, invalid BCD okay this is an invalid BCD so any number above 1 0 0 1 is invalid BCD so to make it valid to, to make this result proper we need to add 6 so the correct result is actually 1 2 Okay, because 7 plus 5 is 12, so we must get this 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 1, 0. So what we do is, we add 6 to the result. So we add this result, this 6. So what we get is 0, 1, 0, carry 1, 0, and we get this 1, and we get this 1 here. Okay, so this is the result, which is the expected. So this is 0, 0, 1, triple 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 0. This is how we get this. Okay. So this is 1, this is 2. So this this is the third rule actually. Okay, the result is one two. Now we need to construct this BCD addition. We need some extra logic so that we can we can get rid of that uh, digits which are more than one zero zero one. So if we are getting uh, any number any BCD number which is uh, invalid, then we need some logic to get that. So here in this particular table because if we have three if we have four inputs there are 16 combination now out of this 16 com you can see this numbers in the red box they all are invalid okay so these are all the invalid digits so we need to construct the k map so that uh, we can actually get away with this so this is how we draw the k map for the output okay we take this in this case you can see uh, the truth table the blue part there are six ones if we draw the KMF for this, we get this, okay, and this is the logic so that we can get rid whenever 
uh, in that case if we are getting any invalid bcd then it automatically adds 0 1 1 0 to the given result so that we get the valid bcd so this is the actual circuit diagram of bcd adder we construct we take two four bit adders okay and here we can see these are the inputs and this is the carry in okay so carry in uh, if we you can even discard this so when we add this we get the result sum here when if this sum goes beyond uh, if, if it is invalid BCD or if a carry is generated then this particular logic it will uh, take care of addition of 0 1 1 0 and here we get the final output carry and this is the final sum S0 S1 S2 of this they are the final sum and this is the final carry so let us now implement this uh, using the simul ID okay. so now we are into the simul ID first of all we need to select the adder so in search components just type adder and we get this uh, so many number of addresses. I just select this 7483 you can see the 7483 is here so this is the required IC then uh, we just rotate it uh, clockwise so we get this and double click here and get rid of this uh, label we don't need to see this label so this is one I see I'll just uh, copy it and paste so I need one more I'll just keep it here below then uh, we need one uh, uh, fixed voltage supply just keep this voltage supply here okay. and then we need a switch so here we have an option called as switch DIP so it has eight switches I just rotate it clockwise so we get this just keep it here and then uh, connect this power supply to each and every switch so this green uh, there are eight switches here we can turn them on and off anytime and anyone so we just connect this part the lower the, the right four to the A input and this one straight forward so this is done next uh, we just turn them off so this black if I just click here it becomes off we'll turn them on when we required next uh, what we do is this S0 is directly connected to A0 okay, so this is straightforward connection then uh, we need uh, some more log we need logic gates so I just come here we need uh, OR gate just turn it uh, rotate it 180 degrees then we need uh, two AND gates so one AND gate here we remove this just uh, rotate it we need one more so I just copy it and paste it here So now this one is uh, S3 and S1. So this is S3 and this connect to S1 and this is S3 and S2, S3 and S2 and this is connected directly to this, this one connected to this okay and then uh, below here what we have is uh, we need to connect this to uh, this B0 okay so we want this as a uh, 1 1 0 so 0 1 1 0 sorry so this is just connected here this one and this one okay. now I take a ground connection this is the ground we connect this B0 and B3 to the ground this is connected so take it little above so that uh, we know what we are connecting properly and this part sorry 
this one so done now to get the output we need to connect the probes I'll just connect the probes so this is for the carry part this is for the s3 then this is for the s2 then uh, s1 and finally s0 so these are the outputs so let us connect them the so first I will connect the carry part this carry part will come from this part okay this is the carry digit this one is the carry then uh, this one is for s3 then this one is for s2 then this one is for s1 this one is for s1 and finally this is for s0 so the connection is done now we can uh, start the simulation so I'll just turn this on and turn the simulation on so all are 0 0 we get nothing so if I turn this uh, see this is the these are the switches all are off now I'll just click here now this is on so 0 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 1 is of course 1 so this digits the four digits are for A this four are for B if I make one of the bits B0 as 1 so 0 plus 0 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 we get this so we can just verify from the truth table itself so this is 3 1 1 is A1 A0 is 1 1 so it becomes 3 and B0 is 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 so this 4 is 1 0 0 is 4 now let us try one example where we get a carry so uh, I'll just make both as 8 8 Okay, so I am making B3 as 1 so this B3 1 0 0 0 is 8 and I am making A3 also as 1 so 8 plus 8 is 16 so we get 16 so this is 1 of 1 and this is 0 1 1 0 so this part is 6 and this part is 1 so 1 plus 6 uh, so 1 and 6 is 16 so 8 plus 8 is, 8 is 16 now if I make it as 9 plus 9 so 9 plus 9 is of course 18 so what we are getting this is 1 and this 1000 0, 0, 0 is 8 so 1 8 is 18 this is how we get it so we can verify all the combinations and see that we are getting the proper rating so this is how the BCD adder works next we do the BCD subtractor so the rule is that if we have a BCD subtractor we can actually construct a BCD subtractor using the BCD adder itself so BCD adder can also act as a BD, BCD subtractor so what we need to is do is uh, we just add the logic to find the two's complement of the menu end so if we are doing a minus b b becomes the menu end so for example if you want to perform the subtraction a minus b then we find the two's complement of b suppose it is b dash and we add it with a so we have a plus b dash this is the sum actually but it will give the difference we are not adding a and b we are adding a with b dash which is the two's complement of uh, B. So this is called as uh, this the, the 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 trick which we are using is uh, using two's complement subtraction trick. So in this case, when we add a with the two's complement of b, we are actually doing the subtraction. So whatever resulting sum we are getting, it will give the difference. So this is the required logic. So as we can see for the b part, we are using XOR gate, and one of the end is connected to the b inputs, and the other is connected to VCC. So this will ensure that we are getting the complement, the first, the once complement, and as you can see, CIN is connected to logic one, this one. So because of this, we are adding one to the once complement, it becomes two's complement. So we are A, this is like A plus B's complement. So whatever output we are getting, it will give us the resulting difference. So this is how we can just do, we can just add some logic to the previously given circuit and we can construct this BCD separate. You can, you can try it with the given simulator. So that's all for this session. Thanks for watching.